What's up, what's up everybody? Rob Vico here, coming to you guys with a special kick-ass marketing tip. I came across a, um, a flyer, I didn't come across it, they mailed it to me, and it kind of caught my attention because this real estate agent is doing something that I've never seen done before, and I kind of wanted to share that with you all, and maybe even have a little discussion. Maybe this is something that's um, being used by other real estate agents and I wasn't aware of it and I'm coming across it thinking, wow, this is brilliant. Or maybe there's a reason why other real estate agents don't use this strategy. So if you're watching and you're in real estate, give me a couple of comments. Let's get a little dialogue going. I got a new uh, microphone. I'm not sure if it's working. So if you can hear me fine, give me a like or give me a little comment. Just let me know the microphone is working. Um, I have no other device that I can watch on and see if this is working. So I'll wait and see if somebody can give me a comment. Let me know you can hear me. Um, Brenda, I just got to Miami. Oh, welcome back. You keep coming and going, coming and going. And you're back in Miami. How's the real estate going up there? In, uh, you're in Gainesville, right? So this is kind of like a first for me because when I do my Facebook Lives, I usually do it on the set of my show. And I can't really interact with people. I can't really see the comments from the set. So... This will be a little different for me. I'll try to keep up with the comments and, and respond and have a dialogue going. Um, so Armando, yes, you can hear me, great. And I was assuming that Brenda can hear me because she's replying, going good in Gainesville. Okay, so, um, you know, just the other day I was having a discussion. Uh, one of my Facebook friends, um, um, David Kurz from Kurz Real Estate, posted up an article about uh, Amazon moving into the real estate market as well as there's been a lot of talk about Zillow moving into the real estate market so I guess it's kind of been a little more top of mind because I look at it and think you know this same thing happened in the travel agency industry many many years ago with the power of the internet most people thought travel agencies were gonna go out of business yet many years later there's still lots of travel agents around and the same thing happened with, with my industry, right? We're in the promotional products industry. And in about 2003, maybe 2004, we started to get a lot of big online um, promotional product providers. And then we started getting websites like Alibaba where you can source products directly from China. And everybody thought it was gonna be the end of the promotional products industry. It was gonna be the death of the industry. And that's not the case. What it did do was kind of weed out the people in the industry that couldn't hang. And everybody else kind of rose to the top. Luckily for us, we've done a, we do a lot of aggressive marketing, we do a lot of direct response marketing, and we survived that, as well as we survived the recession. And that's the same situation that most real estate agents are gonna find themselves in now, right? You're either gonna have to differentiate or you're gonna die. You're gonna have to find a way to differentiate yourself from the Zillows, from the Amazons, and either by finding a niche market, by finding a niche way to market your properties, um, or by offering a niche kind of service. So. When that discussion was going on, I guess real estate was top of mind. And when I came across this flyer, I said, you know what? This is a great strategy. So let me show you what I'm talking about and not keep everybody in suspense anymore. So I got this flyer in the mail the other day, uh, probably last week or maybe a little longer than that. Um, and I give a shout out to the real estate agent here, Maida Blanco, because I think her strategy was brilliant. And this is what she did here. I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see it. Um, I, I don't know if you can see that very well. And maybe I'll ask you guys if you can spot what exactly is that caught my attention and I think is so brilliant. Um, not going to miss you. Go ahead. I'm listening and, I, and we'll see you. Okay, Brenda, I'm looking forward to getting together this time around while you're in town. All right, so did you guys notice that? Did you happen to catch what she did there that is so brilliant? And if you haven't caught that yet, let me tell you what it is. If you notice right here... Oh, oh, yes, yes, thank you, George. Everything is mirrored, yes. All right, but you can still get the point, which is she is using the property's address as the domain name for the property. See that there? So you're always gonna have a domain name available. It's gonna be easy to market that property with its own website, and I would imagine that this is a great perk of working with you that you're gonna create it a website for that property, for their listing. So I think it's brilliant. She has, if you guys wanna check some of them out, one of them is 449 Falcon Avenue. The other one is 1199 Ibis Avenue. She's got 421 Wren Avenue, which is right down the street from my house here in Miami Springs. She's got 148 Lenape Drive. So 
She's able to secure domain names for every single property that she lists. I mean, a domain name on GoDaddy costs, what, $12.99 for the whole year? And I clicked on the website. She's got little videos and pictures of the, almost like a virtual tour of each of these properties. So I wanted to come out here and make this quick video and show you guys what she's doing. I think it's brilliant. I think it's a great way to drive people onto the internet where you can even maybe set up a, um, um, a lead capture. So you can drive them to say 449 Falcon Avenue to see videos and see pictures and take a virtual tour of the property. But what you can do is you can have them uh, have to give their name and email and maybe even phone number in order to see the virtual tour. That's gonna help you create a list of people who are interested in that property. You're gonna get a list of buyers who are interested in that particular property. And that's very easy to do by going to GoDaddy and buying a domain name that matches the address of the property. Now, I don't know if there's any real estate agents out there watching. I, the, the live thing doesn't tell me exactly who is watching or at least I don't know how to get it. But if you're in real estate and you're watching this, Please comment. Let me know what you think of this strategy. Is it brilliant? Is this does not work? Um, and why don't I see more real estate agents doing this? I showed this to a friend of mine, Rebecca Perez from Charlie Max Realty, and um, she loved it. She thought it was a great idea. I don't know if she's implemented any of it, but big shout out to Maida Blanco. This is a great strategy, great design on your um, postcard. She even matched up the... Uh, the addresses here to pictures of the property to give you an idea what the property looks like. She numbered them. This is very clean, um, very easy to understand what is happening. And then on the other side, just a simple picture of herself there with her contact information and a big for sale. This is a well done piece, very well designed. And I love the way she uses the domain names to list the properties. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you're in real estate, and you see this video, hit me up with a comment. Let me know what you think of this because I'm really thinking of uh, trying to incorporate this strategy into some of the uh, uh, real estate clients that I work with that I help with their marketing. I'm thinking of really kind of helping them push this new strategy as a new way to showcase their listings. And as a perk for signing the listing is that your property is going to get its own website, which is brilliant. So one more time, Rob Vico here signing off. Give you guys one last image of that. And uh, let me know what you think.